Tree Baltimore giveaway trees have root balls that are growing in plastic pots. The plants are usually three to four feet in height. They will have a plastic tag with an identifying species name. You can sign up for a free tree by visiting treebaltimore.org forward slash get a free tree. When you receive a delivery date for your tree, watch the weather and pick a day when the soil is moist, not soggy, to plant your tree. If there has been a lot of rain recently, you will want to wait until the end of a sunny or windy day for the soil to dry. Dig a test hole and get a feel for the texture of the soil. You'll know it's ready when the soil crumbles between your fingers. Soggy soil conditions are not ideal for planting, especially in clay soils, which we have a lot of here in Baltimore. Notice the photograph here was taken on a sunny day. Despite this, the soil was soggy because a lot of rain fell the day before. Trying to backfill over the tree's roots with clumps of wet, stuck-together clay would leave gaping holes beneath the surface. You would run the risk of the tree's roots suffocating, drying out, or rotting. If your soil passes the crumble test, set the plastic pot on its side and press down on all sides. This will loosen the root ball, making it easier to remove the plastic container. Use the hole in the bottom center of the pot to grab hold with one hand and gently pull on the stem of the plant with the other hand. Using a hand cultivator or your hands, gently tease out the roots. Don't worry about soil falling from the roots. You'll be covering them up again in a few minutes. This plant has been growing its roots in the container for a long time. Sometimes these roots will grow in circles along the inside of the plastic container. You want to make sure you loosen those roots up so they don't continue growing in circles. Note the difference between these two root balls. The root ball on the left is what you want to see. The roots are reaching out in a radial pattern, moving directly away from the central trunk. The root ball on the right has many circling roots that need to be spread out. Now that you've prepared the root ball, measure its depth with your shovel blade. You may have lost some soil at the bottom of the root ball while spreading out the roots. That's okay. Just make sure to dig the planting hole an inch or two shallower than the depth of the root ball. If you look at this diagram, the way we like to see gardeners plant trees is to dig a very wide hole. A saucer shaped hole with sloping sides at least twice the width of the root ball. The reason for this is that the majority of a tree's roots are in the top 6 to 12 inches of the soil. These roots actually don't grow down real deep. Any roots that do are simply anchor roots that help anchor the tree. The vital roots that absorb water and nutrients are in that top 6 to 12 inches. And so it pays to dig a very wide hole, a saucer shaped hole, so that the roots can grow out into it. If you've only dug a hole that's the same diameter as the root ball, the roots won't be able to grow out, especially if you have a heavy clay soil. Using good body mechanics will help you save energy and remain safe while working with garden tools. With the shovel blade resting on ground in front of your feet, hold the top of the handle out all the way at arm's length. The blade should be vertical with the earth. Step one foot on top of the blade and carefully jump with the other foot onto the opposite side of the blade, sending your body weight into the tool. This will allow you to take advantage of gravity. Take one last moment to inspect the root ball. As we wish for the plant to live a good life and grow old, we are gently inspecting its underground portion, encouraging roots that will spread out and away from the central trunk. Set the plant down into the hole, checking that it sits at the correct depth. 
and now it's time to fill the native soil back over the tree roots. Avoid adding grass clumps into the hole. You might need to separate the soil from clumps of grass. Since we waited for the right conditions, we have nice crumbly soil to work with. You can use your hands at first and a rake to finish by loosening the soil from the surrounding grass. Use your feet to lightly tamp the soil around the roots. Remember, about one or two inches of the root ball should be above the soil level. If you have any rocks left over from digging a hole, you can spread them around the tree ring if you like. Don't forget to add some mulch. Apply the mulch three inches thick, three feet around the tree, and pull any excess mulch within three inches of the stem away. Don't forget to remove the plastic tag and dispose of it properly. Water your plant immediately and make sure to do so gradually with a slow pour from a bucket or by using a watering pail. You're all done, but this is just the beginning. The more frequently you visit your tree, the better it will grow. For best growing success, you want to simulate an inch or two of rainfall per week by artificially watering your plant. As long as you've added a layer of mulch, you'll only need to water your tree once a week, maybe more frequently during the hot summer months. Timely summer watering will greatly improve the plant's vigor during establishment. Again, we wish for the plant to live a good life and grow old. Best of luck to you and your new tree.